here at the Cosmo Fear today. Uh, you can see it behind me here in the background. We got Mason, he's on the phone with his mother. And uh, very excited to go look around, check this place out. Haven't been here in, I don't think since 2020, since the pandemic. So let's go check it out. All right, here we go. Alright, so we're heading in right now. And we got the blackbird here. It's pretty cool. Oh, I see Mason. You're an astronaut, Mason. Well, you look like a dead astronaut. <laughs> No coins today, Mason. Hmm. What is this? What do you think it is? Well, it's a capsule of some sort. You know, that would be a cramped area to be in. I mean, that would just... My gosh. I don't know if I'd fit in that thing. Hard to imagine what it would be like, actually. Yep. And here's a spacecraft. It's pretty neat. I like that jet hanging up. That's pretty cool. We're gonna get our tickets in just a moment. I'm gonna check over here real quick. Mason, which one was this? Do you remember? Is that the one they landed on the moon? Well, we're gonna find out. All right, so I'm gonna get our tickets and I'll be back with some more footage in just a moment. All right, so we got our tickets and we're about to head into this place and uh, check it out. It's been a while since we've been here. Eye in the sky. Looks like they got some school trips going on here today. So what do you think, bud? It is neat. Got the Digital Dome Theater. That's a souvenir shop over there. We'll catch that last. So let's head on over here to the museum. Got some nice murals here on the wall. It's really cool. Ah. To the stars through difficulties. Yes, I agree. Check that out. That's pretty cool. Space race. Wings over water. Looks just like you, Mason. <laughs> All right. And we took our family photo here last time we were here. They made it for our thumbnail. So now we're going to head down and check out the museum. Always like that orange airplane it's pretty cool wow look at that cockpit not very big please think about how big I am <laughs> hard for me to fit it's really small very small all right let's go in the v2 Launching the space age. All right. The V stood for vengeance, Mason. That guy doesn't look very happy working on this. Not does he? Watch out, Mason. That rocket's going to get you. <laughs>
Treaty of Versailles, 1933. Mm -hmm. World War Two begins. Two thousand seven hundred twenty-four in Britain alone. These were rockets. Suggested that thousands were killed. Wow. As many as twenty thousand died constructing the rockets. No wonder he wasn't happy. Now I understand. Wow. Oh. Looks like we're going to be uh, heading into the Cold War gallery. So let's go check this out. Looks like we got some of the Berlin Wall down here. There's Mr. Gorbachev and John F. Kennedy right here. Pretty awesome. Bottom of the rocket here. Can actually climb up a little bit. Loud out here. It's like it's an actual functioning launch pad. It's pretty cool. All right. Back inside. 1961, the dawn of the space age. There really is a lot to see here. I mean, there's just no way I can cover it all. But, I'm just kind of giving you more of a glimpse, if nothing else. Behind the curtain. What do you think of that? It is massive. Mercury Gemini. Pop culture. Footprints on the moon. So that's what we were looking at from above 
from the front lobby, I guess. So we were up there a while ago. And this is the lunar module. It's huge. It's very big. I'm just going to browse through here. Now this is the actual Apollo 13 capsule. And uh, if you read over here, which there's so much to read, I'm not going to read it all, but this is the actual one. Um, it tells how they, or what they went through to get this for the museum here. It's pretty awesome to read the whole thing. Mason, look at all these cameras they used in space. It's quite interesting. Mission Control Houston. See what we got over here. Apollo White Room. This is what you and Iori were doing, right? like a Google map. The turbo pump plus locks dome. This is when uh, the United States docked with the Russian. I have them both here together. CCCP, United States. It's really cool. High flight. And we have the most important feature a toilet. Have to have a toilet. Check those out. That's interesting. Interesting indeed. I actually like that shirt. It's pretty cool. This is a model of the International Space Center, I believe. So they can dock there. looks like some Star Wars stuff here. <laughs> I know it's not, but it looks like it. What do you think of that, Mason? How'd you like to hang that up in your room? Model of the International Space Center? Yeah. So this is quite a fascinating place. Uh, every time I come, it's very interesting to read, take your time. Learn about U.S. history, and definitely during the golden age of space travel, exploration, if you will. Um, it, it's just, it blows your mind what they did and what they went through compared to we have no direction in this country right now. And 
nothing to shoot for as a country. And I think when you lose that, uh, something that everybody's striving to work for, your country falls apart. I just now noticed this guy sticking out of this module. Russian astronaut portrayed there. Alright. Well, we went to the main part of the uh, museum. And so now we're just going to go walk through this small section here. There's not a lot here. I think there's a planetarium back here. We're not going to check that out. Not today anyways. That's pretty cool looking. We're going to go check out the gift uh, souvenir place, gift shop, and then uh, get out of here. But it was fun. It's always fun to come here. And video never does it justice. You actually have to come here, spend the time to read if you really want to, you know, just soak everything in, if you will. But uh, yeah, awesome. Wonderful time. And I uh, hope you enjoy the video. And hopefully I can start posting stuff more again. So thank you for watching. This is Luke's Adventure. And we will catch you next time. Thank you. Let's get out of here.